So, great day here in Los Angeles. Pacquiao and Lucero, let's see how they match up. They're both 24. The height and the reach, both in favor of Manny Pacquiao. They're the big particulars for him. Let's see how he uses his height and reach. And here there is no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule in effect. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell at all, and only the referee can stop the fight. Although for Star up. You look at it, came off a fifth round knockout victory in March. And he had two defenses of his IBF title in 2002. He's a crowd pleaser, comes out with an aggressive style. He's a lefty, flamboyant, he's colorful, charismatic. He's a bell-to-bell, go-for-broke guy. Give and take brawler. Throws a lot of non-stop punches. Pretty, pretty much wears his heart on his sleeve. And that's how he does it. He comes out and tries to smother his opponent. Got a good trainer in Freddie Roach. And he's won six straight fights by knockout. A people's champion in the Philippines. Has a certain swagger about him. And that's the type of style that brings people to you and gets them behind you. And away across the way, Emmanuel Lucero, 21-0-1, 12 knockouts from Mexico City. Comes off a victory in May against Marty Robbins in Temecula with a six-round decision. And although he's an underdog here, he has three 12-round wins in a row prior to his last two fights. So he's trying to pull the surprise. And then Emmanuel Lucero is a good fighter. Yeah, he's a good fighter. Against the guy that comes all out. Oh, Joe Souza, Souza. His good cut man behind him. And and it'll be interesting to see how Manny Pacquiao against Lucero makes the U.S. debut. And it will be interesting to see how Lucero handles the rising class. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grand Olympic Auditorium here in downtown Los Angeles, California. Where tonight, Main Events is proud to present an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment. Brought to you in association with Miller Lite the Mandalay Bay Resort Casino of Las Vegas and HBO Sports. These bouts are sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. First bout is presented in association with Murad and Mohammed Eminem Sports. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest will be Gwen Adair, James Bagshaw, and Max DeLuca. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jose Cobian. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Featherweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gold, blue, and gray, officially weighing 121 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 21 victories, including 12 knockouts, and he has one bout even. He's now fighting out of the Bronx in New York, but he is originally from Ciudad de Mexico, Damas y Caballeros. Here is the undefeated challenger, Emanuel Lucero. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, trimmed with black. He officially weighs 120 pounds. His professional record, 36 victories, including 27 knockouts, with only two defeats and one draw. From General Santo City, Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, the defending IBF Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, Manny Pacquiao. Gentlemen, I already gave you first instructions as a dressing room. Do you have any questions? That's your blocks that come back from the bell. Good luck. It is Manny Pacquiao's title, but Emmanuel Lucero's crowd. As we get started here, scheduled for 12. You take a look at Emmanuel Lucero. And Dave Bontempo at ringside. Glad you're with us for what should be an entertaining battle. Some quarters, it's an expectation of an all-out slugfest. And there should be early fireworks. Let's see what happens. Number 12 versus the champ. But number 12, it's on his turf. As Lucero comes out with a looping right hand to start it with. Manuel Lucero in the red and the green. Pacquiao, brawling type fighter. 
Cicero will try to hang in there and hope that the crowd is something he can feed off. That's what the home edge does for you. The crowd can give you everything, except a chin, of course. Cicero in there with Pacquiao, who would like to test that chin. He's tested his opponent's chin and has 27 knockouts in 39 fights. Lucero trying to dig the body and fires a left hook. Lucero trying to open up and determine the course of this in his favor. But Pacquiao is the one known for the explosive starts, but a bit tentative in his American debut. Stop, stop, stop. Keep your head up. Stop. And Lucero warned about the head. Smaller fighters often use the head as a means of getting inside. Lucero fires wide shots. He will be open up the middle. Lucero trying to lean in here on Pacquiao. Pacquiao with a good, solid, strong left hand behind his jab. Lucero trying to leap in with a left hand. Clubbing right hand by Lucero. Pacquiao in. Good body work exchange. As Pacquiao tries to work the body, and Lucero firing from the side. Lucero is vulnerable, up the middle, and now Pacquiao gets to him. Pacquiao scored with a couple. Manny Pacquiao trying to find the range, and Lucero walking toward him, dipping his head, and going for broke with his right hand. And Lucero headbutting a little bit, unintentionally as he moves forward. Good left hand by Pacquiao. Spinning Lucero around and now trying to capitalize. Pacquiao missing with a wild left hand. Oh, believe it or not, there were some people here who thought this would end in one. Bell has sounded. Ese no es el plan, ¿ok? Moviendo bien bajito hacia la derecha, pero hay que meterme esa mano abajo y arriba. Abajo y arriba. Now use your feints. When you're feinting, you're bending the shot, ¿ok? Hey, what you're bending is you look at the body shot, ¿ok? Then you use your feints. Campeón. ¿Ok, campeón? No se me, no se me duerma de arriba, ¿ok? Muévame esa cabeza. Cuando se mete abajo, tire la mano abajo y arriba. Eso vuelve por dentro. Derecha rápida a la cabeza. Vamos abajo y arriba. ¿Ok, campeón? Ese título es suyo si te lo quiero, ¿ok? Vámonos. We get ready for round two. Good opening round between Manny Pacquiao in the red trunks and Manuel Lucero in the red and green. Lucero, 21, all in one, 12 knockouts. And ranked 12th by the NBF in the junior featherweight division. Trying to take the title of Manny Pacquiao, who is 36, 2 and 1, 27 knockouts. It's Lucero's home crowd, and he fires a right hand. Lucero from Mexico City. But this area here, a hotbed for Spanish boxing. And as Lucero fires a looping right hand up top. So the crowd has got behind Lucero. Pacquiao from the Philippines trying to make a United States presence and expand his career. Well, Lucero is accommodating Pacquiao in terms of style because he's coming right at him. And Lucero ties up and then Pacquiao hit him off the glitch. Pacquiao with a good left hand and then another one getting through. Pacquiao doing some of his better work now. And Lucero backing up and not able to fool Pacquiao with his bull rush on offense. Lucero tries straight. Pacquiao blocked out. Break, break lead. Sit back. Sit back. Lucero with a couple of looping shots. A block by Pacquiao. He works the body good left hand by Pacquiao. 
Vecchio, and he continues to dig downstairs. It has Lucero in some trouble. Manny Pacquiao's crowd-pleasing style coming out here. Even though the crowd didn't necessarily want to, it's still an open style. And Lucero gets the crowd up. It is a tempted offense. Spins himself around in a 360, but unable to get the big shots in. So Lucero showing a lot of grit and intensity, but Manny Pacquiao scoring with some good lead shots and taking advantage of his reach to walk his way in. And so the first two rounds of this are shaping up to be entertaining as either guy is wanting in the heart department. Pacquiao and Lucero whirling away through two. Corners have stopped sticking into round three. We go. You got that good overhead look at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles. And Dave Fontempo and Manny Pacquiao defending his IBF Junior Featherweight title against Emmanuel Lucero. Pacquiao's corner man Freddie Roach saying take the uppercut to the body, which is what he tries to do. And it's interesting that when the taller fighter has the uppercut at his disposal, it's usually most effective to the head. But Freddie Roach telling him to go to the body with it because he thinks that Emmanuel Lucero will not be able to take that type of power downstairs. Manny Pacquiao, 36, 2 and 1, 27 knockouts. And a big shot by Pacquiao and Lucero is in trouble. That might be the 28th and it is. A tremendous sudden power by Manny Pacquiao. That's a great shot. they appreciate him, but that is devastating by Manny Pacquiao in the junior featherweight division, a division not known for one punch power, that was an awesome shot. He figured to wear down Emmanuel Lucero, but tried to work the uppercut, his corner said go to the body, but what a terrific shot by Manny Pacquiao, and you don't see too many one punch bombs in boxing. What you do in this fight. That's just a total Boom! That shot lands, and watch Lucero treading back, and the referee smartly gets in there right away. Great stoppage by Jose Cobian to prevent further damage because Lucero is out on his feet right here, and that is major damage waiting to happen, but the referee steps in. Watch out, Pacquiao sets it up and then lands that terrific left hand. The corner said go to the body, he worked there, but he set up the big shot. And there are very few fighters who can do this. One shot and the fight is over. No matter where you are and from what country you come, you will build a fan following with that type of power as Manny Pacquiao just showed you. He walks with the swagger, and he has himself another knockout win, and here is Michael Buffer to give us the final time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jose Cobian has to call a halt to the bout. The official time, 48 seconds of round number three. The winner by TKO victory, and still the IBF junior featherweight champion of the world, Manny Pacquiao. So Manny Pacquiao not only with the win, but with the exclamation point. Doing it in one punch, star quality practice.